Hey everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are gonna be making some really affordable but absolutely beautiful home decor today using some thrift store items and also Dollar Tree items. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments which project's your favorite. Let's jump in and get started. For this project, I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree wood pieces. Now, these are probably the biggest wood pieces that I've seen from Dollar Tree, which is a lot of fun. I'm glad that they're doing something a little bit bigger. You can always go out though to the hardware store and cut some wood just like this. But these are going to be these wood pieces from Dollar Tree. I have four of them and I already had stained them. I used Early American for that. I was going to do a different project, but I ended up scrapping that. So these were already stained for that and I decided to use it for this planter that I'm making today. All I'm using here is some hot glue from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna glue all of these together. Once we have all of our wood pieces glued together, I'm going to move to the inside and this is where I'm gonna add a piece towards the bottom, but I'm gonna elevate it a little bit. Now this is really where you could place it wherever you wanted to. If you wanted it all the way at the bottom or if you wanted to put something closer to the top, it depends on what kind of plant you wanna put in here. So maybe if you wanted to just do some succulents, you would put this a lot closer to the top. You could fill in the top with some rocks or dirt, sand, whatever you wanna do, and then place the succulents. I'm gonna put a little bit bigger of a plant, so I want this to be further down in the planter. So all I'm doing here is gluing some of these little tumbling tower blocks on the inside, and then I'm gonna use a different piece of wood to lay on top of those and glue it on there. That way I can put some bags in here or some foam and that will rest on top of there and allow me to put a plant inside. Now once we have all of those glued together and our form for our planter, this is where you can customize it to however you would like. So if you wanna add some paint, maybe some decals, rub on transfers, whatever it might be, this could also be, if you've got a Cricut, a good place to add a really cool, unique design using a Cricut. Um, but for me, all I'm gonna be using is some tape. I'm gonna tape off the bottom here. That's gonna be painted. I'm gonna lay down another layer of tape and then one more, and then I will go ahead and remove that center tape. And so the bottom and then that middle part is what I'm going to paint. Now the color that I'm using here is succulent from sherwin williams and i absolutely love this we've been doing some more furniture um, refinishing recently and this is kind of what we had left over from one of those and i really really love this color it's kind of a muted dark green kind of gray as well so if you're looking for something like that this is definitely a great color to go with so i'm just going to add some paint there at the very bottom and then that middle section and then when you're painting with the tape i try to paint away from the tape instead of into it because that's going to make it a little bit more prone to pushing the paint underneath the tape and that's really all there is with this project so you're just gluing a few of these wood pieces together and adding some paint. Again, you can customize this however you would like. You could also, instead of doing a vertical planner, do one more horizontal. Um, there's a lot of things that you could do with this, but I think in the end it looks really, really pretty and I love the color added to it. For this project, I'm gonna be starting with this sheetrock compound. So we use this a lot, especially when we're kind of doing the furniture stuff. Uh, it helps with filling in wood grain and then little things here and there. So we have a big tub that we've kept. I'm gonna use that for this project. Now this is a thrifted vase or candle holder that I found for, I believe it was $3. I had spray painted it gold originally and it's really big as you can see here, but I wanted to change it up a little bit. So I'm gonna be doing is using some of this compound to go over the whole thing 
and you do want to mix that together a little bit before applying it but i'm going to mix that up apply this all over and we're going to go for kind of a concrete stone look on this now another way that you could accomplish this is with some paint and like baking soda you could also try that method um, but it's fun to kind of switch it up and i have this on hand a lot of it so i like to use this and then once we have that all over i'm just going to go through and sand this down I want a lot smoother texture than what it was when I applied that. So I'm going to go in, smooth that down with some sandpaper, and then we're going to use this white chalk paint to paint over all of this. And then instead of brushing this on, I'm just going to go through and dab this all the way around. I'm trying to avoid any brush strokes on this. I want this to look like it was just kind of poured concrete instead of painted on there so that's why i'm going to go through and dab all of this paint on there once we have that white base coat on here what i'm going to do is add some gray so this is really going to give it kind of that concrete look and almost a staggered texture between the white and the gray so it gives it a lot of depth instead of just like one painted color because you could go in here just paint it white or just paint it gray but it looks really flat i think this gives it a little bit more dimension and more of a concrete look. So I'm using a wet sponge with some of that gray paint. Now, if you dip this into the paint and it gets a little too heavy on your vase, then you can just simply put a little bit more water on that and then continue to dab around and that will lighten it up. You don't want any really hard paint marks on here. It's just a light coat of gray that you're dabbing on there. And I ended up leaving the gold here on the inside. I thought it was really cool, kind of the contrast between the gold and the concrete. I was going to cover all of it with the mud, but I ended up just leaving it. And I think it turned out really cool that way. For this one, I'm starting with this bowl from Dollar Tree and then some of this gold spray paint from rust -Oleum. So give that a couple coats. And then I'm just using one of these little boxes from Dollar Tree. This is one of those wood ones that has a wood insert as well. So I'm using the outer part of that. And I'm gonna use this Min Wax Early American Stain to go over the entire box. And once we're done staining and the paint is dried, we can simply add these together. I'm just using some hot glue to glue this together. And I think this is a good example of a lot of things that I see on like Anthropology, West Elm, Pottery Barn even. They're really simple designs, but they're sleek and modern at the same time. So they have very kind of elegant, high-end look to them, but you can do them for just a couple dollars and they're really easy. So this one, we're using gold paint, some stain, this bowl, and then this little box from Dollar Tree, but yet we're creating something really, really nice. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more like this, make sure to click through right here to our high end Dollar Tree DIYs. And you can check out a lot of other videos like this. And as always, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.